Hey guys, it's Ella. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit on iMovie. When I first started editing, it was really, really hard to edit. And when I look back at my old videos, there was parts of when I was just sitting there and not even saying anything. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit on iMovie like a pro. <laughs> but other than that, let's just get straight on to the video, yo. So when I edit on movie, I I movie, I kind of separate it into different parts. The first step to editing is obviously filming your video. The first step to editing on movie is you want to drag all your clips into the iMovie app on your computer. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up iMovie and click that little kind of arrow that's on the top of the bar on iMovie. It's different for if you're filming on a camera or if you're filming on your phone. I'm gonna teach you both ways on how you can take all of your camera film and put it into iMovie. If you're filming on a camera, you wanna click that little arrow that's on the top of your iMovie screen and insert your little card that should come with every single camera and just insert this into your computer. Then a little camera icon or something should just pop up and it'll have all your camera filming that you have filmed on. And you basically just wanna select the clips that you wanna insert into iMovie. If you're filming on an iPhone, it's a little more easy. What I do, I airdrop all of the videos from my phone to my computer and then all your files will come up and you can simply just drag it into iMovie. Then the second step while editing iMovie is just cutting all your clips and cutting out the clips where you're not talking or doing anything. And I usually start from the intro and just go all the way to the end. Random clips kind of like this. When you're just thinking about what you're gonna say, you wanna cut out. Because if you're not talking in a video, someone's probably gonna cut off and go to a different video because that video is not interesting. To separate clips or to cut a clip, you basically wanna press Command B. You wanna hold on Command and then press B. And that's going to cut the clip in half. Then you wanna play what you wanna cut out and then click com Command B again. And then the clip that you wanna cut out will be its own separate clip and you can cut that out by pressing just delete. And you basically want to do this to your whole entire video of clips that you don't want in your video. I know a lot of people probably came into this video to learn how to do funny and things like zoom ins and like pop ups and just how to make your video look pretty. So I'm going to teach you how to do all of that. Once you have your video the way you like it, the way how it's sorted and the way how it is cut, you then can go into your video and add funny details and just interesting things that will make your video more interesting. The first thing that I usually add to my videos is background music. Background music is basically just a music that's very calm and light that is under your video. And it basically is exactly what it is. It's background music. You can either download background music, but what I like to do, I like to look up on YouTube and look up non-copyrighted um, background music. And once you find a music that you like, I like to screen record it and then you'll have the audio on your phone. I usually just air drop from my phone to my computer and adding music is a little different. Basically what you want to do is drag the video underneath your clips and it will turn green. And then to adjust the sound and how loud the music is, there will be a little bar where you can drag up and down to adjust the music on how loud you want it. Now I'm gonna teach you how to zoom in on your face, just like I did, and how to add little clips like this and sound effects. First, I'm gonna go over sound effects. In iMovie, there will be a sound effects button that you can click on, and they will have literally hundreds of background musics and like sound effects that you can choose from. And once you find one that you like, you can just drag it right under the part where you want the sound effect to be. Or you can also go on YouTube and look up sound effects or the sound effect that you want and screen record that and then you'll have the audio and drag that right under your video of where you want the sound effect. Now how to do zoom ins on your face. So there's two types of zoom ins. You can do a Ken's burn, I think that's what it's called, where it zooms in on your face or where it just automatically clicks on your face like right away. To do a zoom in, your base, there will be a little bar right above your video and you guys could just like follow right what I'm saying on the screen because it's kind of hard to explain. 
So to do it, you want to select the clip you want it to be zoomed in on, and I'm just gonna select this one. And then you're gonna want to go up here and click on that little button, cropping. And to do a Ken's burn, you wanna click Ken burns, and it will say start and end. So I want it to end on my face, and I want it to start out here, so then you can watch it, and it'll look like this. And that's how you do it. So yeah. And that's how you do it. Then to do just the automatically right onto your face and not zoom in, there will be two selections that you can choose from. Ken's burn, I think that's what it's called. Ken's, Ken burn, I'm not sure. Or you can just do an automatic zoom in and there will be two selections that you can choose from. Then this is how you can make those random things that pop up like this. So there's two methods for doing this. You can make a green screen or you can make a PNG where the image, the background of the image is clear. And I'm gonna teach you how to do both of those methods. First, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the green screen. On the green screen, it's really easy. You kind of have any app that you can edit on. The app that I use is Fonto. And you basically just want to select a green, just a green page or a green photo. And then you wanna add text of you, what you want it to say. Then you're gonna download that to your photos and bring that into your iMovie just by AirDrop. And instead of going under, you're gonna to want to place this text above your video. Then you wanna click on your text and select green screen slash blue screen. And then all that's what's gonna be showing is your text. So that's how you do the green screen, blue screen. The second method is doing a PNG. To get a clear PNG photo where there's nothing there, all you gotta do is go into Pixar and scroll all the way down to the bottom and there will be a option to make a PNG photo. And then in Pixar, you just wanna write any text bubble or whatever you wanna say and download that to your photos. And since it's a clear image, the background of your image is completely clear and it will just show the text. And then you wanna drag that above your clip. And then you want to drag that above your clip. And those are the two methods on how you can make this. I also forgot to add something. If you want to make something picture and picture and something appear on your video, what you want to do is drag the photo right above. And then you want to go up here and select picture and picture. So it will automatically be in cutway and you just wanna select picture and picture, and then you can move it and adjust it to how you want, and then you can just press play on your phone, okay. and then it'll appear. In the final step of editing, you wanna make sure you watch your whole entire video so you know what you're going to be filming, and it is really easy to skip over something that you wanted to cut out. For some reason, you don't have the key command B, you can also go to the top of your screen and click edit. I think it's edit or file, and there will be tons of options on what you can do, and there is a cut option. Those are just some basic ways you guys can edit on iMovie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Press that subscribe button down below so you guys can be notified every single time I post. And another thing that I wanna mention, that subscribe button, it's the same thing of doing the text. You can just make a PNG and add that photo. So yeah, and drag it above your video. So that's how you can make this. <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night. And yeah, bye guys. Mwah.